I'll tell you, I guess to make a long story short, I'll, I'll give you a very brief version of it, in that I was a busker, uh, that's well known, and my friend Marina Guinness, who's part of the Guinness family, uh, was someone who I'd, I would meet on the street. She was a slightly older woman than me, and she would give me money, and she was always very supportive. So she came to me one day and she said, Glenn, if you, if you want to come out next Saturday to the house, uh, Van is turning 50, and there's going to be a, you know, just going to be a bit of a... Because she knew you're... She knew I was a big fan, yeah. And I used to busk his songs, you know, and still do. Right. Uh, and so, 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 she, so she invited me out. She said, come out, bring a bottle of port, because Van likes port. You know, come out, it'll be a lovely night. But, you know, keep it on the quiet, because, you know, I don't want it. It's not going to be a big affair. And I was so grateful and so thankful. And, uh, and I went out to the house, which is a good bit out in the country, and I had a little motorbike, and I drove out, and it was raining all the way. So I got there, I was like a drowned rat, me and my girlfriend on the back. How old were you? I would have been, so that was, I would have been like eight. No, I want to say, no, maybe 20. Okay. Maybe nineteen twenty, somewhere there. There's no penalty if you're wrong. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, what's that? No yeah, penalty. No. Um, and so we got there, and, uh, and and we went in, and it was Van, and there was a few people, and, uh, you know, it was just like people sitting around eating food, and it was just like, a few people like Van and Jerry Lee Lewis and a couple of other people, and, you know, and like, and, and it was just a very small gathering. And anyway, we sat down at dinner, and we were kind of vaguely introduced to Van. He's like, hey, how's it going? We all ate. And, and afterwards, we went to a different room for drinks, and someone came into the room at one point and said, everybody, come on into the kitchen, Van is singing some songs. And, uh, and then we went in, and Van and Jerry Lee were, were, were singing. Now, so how many people, just to get a picture in our minds, were in the kitchen at that point? Maybe 10. Okay. Yeah, maybe 10 okay. people. Um, and I'm just sitting there, floored, blown away, looking at this, just loving it, loving it, loving it, you know, just because I'm a huge fan. And he's singing an old Hank Williams song, he's singing some, like some Blue Sky Boys songs, and Waylon Jennings, and like just great old country music. And then at one point he just said, does anyone want to hear a song? Any requests? He said, any requests? And, uh, and I didn't know if I should say something, if I shouldn't. And I just said, Van, uh, you know, standing quite far back, I said, Hungry For Your Love. And, and Hungry For Your Love is a song of uh, Wavelength, which is an album he made let me get this right now, it's either 78 or 79, or it could have been 80, I think it's 78. Uh, and it was one of the, I guess, lesser known records of his, great record, amazing record, real soulful, kind of up. And Hungry For Your Love is one of the great songs off this record. And I said, Van, Hungry For Your Love. And he just looked over at me and says, you don't know me. And I just was like, oh, f oh wow, oh, fuck. And I just, I just crushed, I crumbled inside. Uh, so I went outside, I sat down on the step and I was like, right, okay, Jesus, and I was totally freaked out because I'm just a kid and I'm like, you know, I, you know, this is, this is someone I, I, you know, he's like a Dylan to me because, you know, my, my heroes are Dylan, Van and, and Leonard Cohen. They're my, they're my men. So I'm getting to hang out with one of them and I can't believe it. Anyway, I'm outside and I'm thinking, right, I'll just go home. Yeah, I shouldn't have come here and I'm, of course I'm blaming myself because I'm Catholic. Uh, and, <laughs> and so, you know, Marina comes out and says, no, come back into the house, no, come on, it's going to be cool, you'll be, you know, it's, he's just, you know, he, he's, he's a bit touchy sometimes, but honestly, trust me, come back in, it's all good, you know. So I went back in, I said nothing, I sat to the end of the room, and I listened, and I really enjoyed it, you know, I was really enjoying it still, but I, of course, I knew not to cross him in any way. Mm. And again, at one point, he held up the guitar, he says, anyone else want to sing a song? And he was kind of passing the guitar on, and... Uh, and I'm doing a really bad impression of his accent, no, by the way, right. but just, you know. And so Marina... Yeah, you really can't do an Irish accent. Yeah, you know. Well, he's from Belfast, so it's a different thing. Uh, Marina said, Glenn, you'll sing a song. Glenn will sing a song. And, uh, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, please, you know, dear God, know, don't. no. Haven't I done enough? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, no, don't please. And so Ivan looks down, he sees me, and, and Marina's like, come on, Glenn, come on. And people are like, come on, Glenn, sing a song. And I stand up and I walk to Van and he hands me the guitar and he stands up and walks out of the room. And I'm standing there at, by the guy and I'm thinking, oh God, you know, the only guy I want to actually sing to is gone. So I'm standing there with my guitar and I, I'm kind of freaked out because now I've kind of had another interaction with him and I don't want to be in his way at all. So I sang my song. Which, know, which it, song? It was a song called Your Face, which was a brand new song. I'd just written it at the time. And then I sang a second song because people were like, sing another one. It was, it was lovely, you know. So I sang a second song. And during my second song, Van came back in and just sort of sat with his back to me at the table. And I was just devastated because, you know, again, I wanted so much for, you know, you want people to like you. 
You want people to not just people. This particular well, you people. want them to have some time for you, you know, or whatever. So, but it didn't seem like that was happening, right. and I was having to to deal with it, you know. Uh, and so I finished my second song, and people clapped, and Van turned his chair around, and he said, "What did you want me to sing?" And and I says, uh, "I said, hungry for your love," and I'm just like totally. I'm trying not to <laughs> look him in the eye. I'm kind of be, you know, deferring away. And uh, he says, "Do you know it?" I says, yeah. He says, well, sing it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I had the guitar in my hand, and you know, and so I, I so <laughs> thank God I know the song. So you know, so I was able to start playing it, and I go, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, I'm hungry for your love, and I'm singing the song, and I'm, I'm about two verses in, and he starts going, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, and and I'm kind of going to myself, I know that sound because I'm a big fan. I know on his records. When that happens, he's or whatever. It just felt like he was into it. Right. So I'm getting something now. Yes. I'm like wow. And then he started kind of singing with me, like a kind of a harmony. No, oh, wow. And and I'm freaked out, and he's kind of there, <laughs> and he's jo joining in, and and you can tell by everyone around the room that there's something going down here, and everyone's <laughs> kind of it's almost like watching a, a boxing match. Everyone's on my side, you know. Like, you know, the kids did all right. <laughs> and I finished the song, and I, I, we finished it out, and he and he and he just says, "Do you know any Bob Dylan?" Oh my God! And I'm like, thank God, I know loads of Bob Dylan songs. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah. What? Well, which one? He said, it's all over now, baby blue. Mm -hmm. You take the first verse, I'll take the second verse. Oh my God! So I start playing it's all over now, baby blue, and Van sings his verse, and I'm blown away. I'm watching him. I'm like, oh my God, I'm singing a fan. You know, it's like Jano with a Beatle. You know, yeah. it's like the most amazing thing. And and he's singing back and forth. It's better than Jano with a Beatle. What am I saying? It's Van Morrison. <laughs> and, uh, That's right. And so we're 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 singing back and forth, and it's an amazing experience. And I put down the guitar at the end of it. Everyone claps and I put down the guitar. And he just says, Ray, come on. And I'm like, what, what, where are we going? You know, don't, what, what's going on? He says, come on. And I take the guitar and we walk and I follow him and he brings us, me upstairs into this you know, beautiful old house that the Guinness has owned. Uh, and I go upstairs into a room and he brings a, you know, some, brings a bottle of port up and we put it down in the room. And he sits me on the bed and he's, he's on one bed, I'm on the other bed. He says, now sing for me. Sing a song. And, uh, Jesus! And I was like, oh gosh! And, uh, and I'm, I'm blown away because like now I've now it's just me and him. Now you, he's saying, show me your stuff. Right. And so I play a song of your own. Yeah, of my own uh, song called "The Dancer." I remember it was the first song I played. And he takes the guitar. What do you want to hear? And then I, I'm like, I'm like anything. I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. So one Irish Rover, which is a song from No Guru, No Method, No Teacher, which is an amazing record of his. And he plays it. And what was amazing was I'm sitting there across from Van Morrison and I'm watching his fingers, I'm watching his throat, I'm watching his mouth, I'm watching how his mouth moves. I'm getting to sit and observe a master at work right up close. I'm watching everything because I'm just drinking the experience yeah. and I can't believe my look. And finishes the song, hands me the guitar, sing another. And I swear to God, I got to hear Madame George, I got to hear like Sweet Thing, I got to hear Astro Weeks, I got to hear all the songs, Into the Mystic, all the songs I've, I've ever loved of his. And we passed the guitar back and forth. I ran out of songs after like an hour and a half because <laughs> I, I wasn't old enough to have written that many songs. But I, I, you know, right. at, 20, at 20, I'm surprised you last an hour and a half. Right, well, Van <laughs> yeah. kept going and kept going and all these songs. And the sun came up and eventually the, a knock on the door and, you know, Van's a girlfriend at the time, who was wondering where the fuck he'd been for six well, hours? Well, no, I think she knew where he was, and I think there was a real thing of like leave them. Sure, like, sure. And, uh, and she came in and said, "Van, we have to go. It's time, you know." And Van got up, he stood up, and he and he said to me, "Nice voice, nice songs, blah blah blah." And he walked out, <laughs> and that was all he said to me the whole night. We had just sung to each other. There was no, we was no dialogue. There was no, like, when did you write that? There was nothing like. There was no, what's that chord? Nothing, no talk. Just sing, 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 sing. At the end of the night, nice voice, nice songs, blah blah blah. And he left, and I sat there feeling like I just won the lottery. Oh yes, you, you had. Know, like it was the most amazing. You had. And I and I and, and that deepened me. That experience deepened me so much because had I walked away on that first, you know, you don't know I lost me. that challenge, I'd lost that whole night. And somehow, not even through my own volition, but through someone else's, I stayed and and uh, and I actually it was. It's an experience that I will take to my grave as in one of the great experiences of being with a master and him taking you all the way in and letting you see because all he, his only gift to me could really have been what he did here's what i do yeah and here it is up close and that, and and his rhythm style i mean i've picked it up 
the moment he left, I was like working out all the and doing the because he has this style of rhythm that's just so addictive and so powerful and so him, so clearly his that uh, I came away from that experience not only a bigger fan, but a changed musician, changed like forever.